Wow, that sounds quite severe. And how long have you been clean, sir? 15 minutes. What? Saw this little baby on the way up here. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Sinner! <laughs> My man. The whole point of this group is so that you do not buy one more gun. I didn't. What? What are you talking about? I bought two. Hi, guys. Guys, it has been one year since our very first Gunaholics Anonymous meeting, and for the most part, we have come so far. Let's just go around the table and let us know how the year has gone for you. Smiley, why don't you go first? Hey guys, just glad to be here. Happy to be alive, happy to be clean, happy to no longer have the financial drain on my bank account of buying guns every month. Life literally could not be better for me right now. So inspirational. Rufus, how about you? Yeah, I'll be honest, when, when I came to my first meeting a year ago, I didn't think I could do it. I didn't want to do it. I literally was ordered by the courts to come to this class. But in the last year, I've, I've learned so much about myself. I've learned I, I just, I don't need them. I've learned to control my gun addiction and I've learned to just say no. I have not touched a gun in one year and I hope to never touch another gun for the rest of my life. You have definitely come such a long way in such a short time, and we could not be more proud of you, Rufus. Matt, um, I know the last year has not been ideal uh, for you. You've, you've had a few, a few relapses. Um, what, are, what are your thoughts on, on the last 12 months? Why are we sitting in water? So I actually decided to have all of our meetings in a river from now on to deter you from bringing your new guns to show Rufus. I thought that you wouldn't want him to get rusty so you might leave him at home as not to tempt Rufus over here. Rufus, have you heard about the all-weather guns? Those are the ones that don't rust, right? Yeah, it's a 4570 government. Oh, it's like a no, move to completely submerge it. Oh yeah. You want to go shoot it? Rufus, you said you never want to touch another gun in your entire life. I'm not perfect. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm glad you're here because we've got quite a video for you and I think you're going to like it. Hey, this is a helmet. It was the kind of helmet that was issued to US military starting like in the 80s and going for like 20 to 30 years. Lots of guys have worn this helmet and Rob told me he wore these helmets. So I wanna know how much protection our good buddies got when they were wearing these helmets. These things are Kevlar. So you can see the fibers in there and they're hard. So this Kevlar is just glued together to make it very hard and rigid, as you can see. We could test these helmets with a nine millimeter, a 45 ACP, a 5.56, a shotgun slug, a 7.62 by 39, but those things have been done, probably. I'm, I'm sure they have. But you know what I bet has not been done? I would bet that when these helmets were being manufactured, the manufacturers were not considering what if our U.S. military go to a place where they are being shot at with only lever-action rifles? That's what I wonder. And so that's what we're going to test today. I brought out the lever-actions. I just feel like these things don't get enough love on the channel. So today, we are lever-action only. We are starting with a 22 long rifle. Which, if this thing lets a 22 long rifle through, not good. Next up, we have first a 38 special, which, yeah, 38 special will stop. Then we have a 357 Magnum. Uh, I, that should stop too. I, I, that's, it seems like pretty thick Kevlar. I think that will stop. Then we're going up to a 44 Magnum in a rifle, which means it has more time to go down that barrel and pick up speed. Then we're going 30 30. This thing will definitely go through. I, I would bet money. 30 30 is going to go through it. Will it go through both sides? I don't know. Then we have 4570 Extreme Penetrator round. That thing, I bet, will go through both sides. But there's only one way to know. He ain't got no legs. Morning, Lieutenant Dan. 
Looking good. Eddie's. Eddie's. You cool with this? You trust that this helmet will stop those bullets. So you're willing to wear it and let me fire at your face. You're an American hero. Before we get started, comment below if you could pick one of these rifles that I would give to you. I will send it to you in this make-believe scenario. You can pick. Which one of these would you choose? And I feel like not many people are gonna choose the 22, so I'm gonna give a little caveat. The 22 is from the 1,000 man shoot. It was the rifle that I fired when we lined up 1,000 of these and we all fired at the same time. Order your rifles. Move the lever completely forward to open your action. Move the lever completely back to close the action. Take aim. Fire. 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 <laughs> so that one has a little history, but then these are all super cool. Comment below, which would you choose? Coming at you, buddy. Hold still. I heard that one bounce off. It went ping. Missed. There's where it hit, and then it hit there. Definitely stopped the 22. You guys want to see my mare's leg? The the gun you freaks. So this is the 38 special out of mare's leg. Uh, yeah, this will stop. For sure, not really sure how to, how to hold these type guns. Uh, this this probably will work. Headshot. This isn't super good. It didn't go through, but I mean you can see it there, and then it it bulged it and it tore it. But it just only tore the outside layer. The inside layer is fine. There's no hole through. It would have scared you. Probably would have hurt a little bit. 357 Magnum, moving. Much faster than the 38 Special, so I'm kind of scared this is going to go through now after that 38 Special did that. It's not good. Entered right by the 38 Special, but did not go through. It rips this inside layer, but no hole. How cool is that? 44 Magnum. We have a jacketed soft point. That's gonna have, it's gonna have a pretty good chance of going through out of a rifle. All right, buddy. See you on the other side. Yeah, I think that's a hole in his head that I can see right now. That one went through. 3030 is a hunting caliber that has been around for a long, long time. Can we just take a moment to admire a little color case hardened steel. Look how pretty that is. I love it. I love it. God, it's good looking. My bet is goes through twice. Front side and back side. I just have a feeling. <laughs> Forgot how much I love 3030s. That is a that's a good round. Oh yeah, it went through. And nothing on the back. So actually. You might have lived with a 3030. There's a piece of metal right there. Um, there's no damage on the other side. So that came in right there. It tore up all this Kevlar, but I don't think it let much through. You would have got hit in the head with shrapnel, but it destroyed that bullet. So it either didn't let much of that 3030 through, or, or it's stuck in his brain. Thug life. Da, 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 da. The 4570 government, a ridiculous round, and this is an extreme penetrator bullet loaded into this case. Uh, this is going through both sides. I am willing to bet no money because I'm always wrong, but I think it's going to go through both sides. <laughs> oh. Okay. Something about the sharp pain in my shoulder, the big fireball, and then the explosion of Kevlar fibers. That's just art, people. That's art. Here's our entrance. It was a little low, but still about three quarters of an inch from the edge. So it got a solid hit there. And then it went straight through and hit this side. 
Let me show you the exit wound on the other side. Boom. Ah. Uh, yeah, that that exploded pretty good. Let's get a little more realistic for one second though, because not many battles happen with lever actions anymore. A lot of them happen with AK-47s. Uh, we have one, and I have a new helmet. So I'm just gonna fire one round into the top of that helmet. I am 100% certain it will go through, but just for the sake of being thorough, we're gonna make sure. Yeah, I saw the ground on the other side explode when that bullet went straight through it. Hole, hole, straight through. How about a little AK-47 rapid fire we know it's gonna go through, but I wanna see what it looks like when a bunch of bullets are passing through that helmet. So good. It's so good. These helmets have not performed as well as I was hoping. Not at all. And same thing with the last episode. That armored door did not perform as well as I was hoping. And so I did not shoot the armored door with 50 BMG because like it let the other calibers through. So of course it's gonna let a 50 go through it. But some of you, actually a lot of you, were still upset that I didn't bring out the 50 BMG. So today I brought out the 50 BMG! Barrett, M107A1. I've just realized in life that sometimes you do things that you don't think are necessary, but you do it because the people want to see it. Like making your bed, for instance, or showering. I have three helmets now lined up in a row. We're gonna shoot straight through them. Place your bets. What do you think? 50 BMG gonna go through all three? I think it will. 50 BMG. Coming in hot. Before we check out the results, don't forget we have Freedom Isn't Free shirts. Rob and I are both selling these things. They are a fundraiser for Memorial Day. Um, if you order them now, you will not get them by Memorial Day. We're already too late for that. But every shirt sold up until Memorial Day, we're donating $5 to the Charles Humphrey Keating Foundation. It's a really good cause, and it's a great shirt. Um, shoot, my GoPro. Uh, first helmet. Looks like we went in there. Killed it. Um, hello? You, you okay? I think we're good. Uh, second, that was the second helmet. There's our entry, I think. Nope, that's our entry right there. There's our exit. Into the third helmet. This one was not shot yet. In, did it stop it? It stopped it. I found one bullet fragment in there. I can't tell if there's more bullet in there that I just can't get to. But 100% nothing came through that. We stopped at 50 BMG. For those who don't follow my Off The Ranch channel, you may have missed that I went to Nashville recently and recorded a country music song with Colt McBee, a buddy of mine. If you're interested in country music whatsoever, uh, I think you might like Bonfires and Tailgates. We burn it up for this all nighter. Bonfires and Tailgates. It's good, right? So that song is available for pre-order right now, link in description. Here's the kicker. I made a deal with Mare and she took it because she thought it was crazy that if, she has no interest in doing this, and they, which is why she took the deal because she thought there was no way that this would be accomplished. She shook on it that if our song makes it to the top of the charts, the number one spot, Meredith will record me and her singing a duet together because I really thought that'd be fun to do and she, hates singing out loud. She does not want to do it. So, if you're interested in helping out, order the song. It's Bonfires and Tailgates by Colt McBee featuring Matt Carricker. Uh Really a little nervous about you hearing my song. I hope you like it. This is a weird assortment of guns. Uh, one of these is not like the other. 
up two of them are you don't usually see a Barrett next to a lever action but it looks looks pretty good link in the description for my song singing about bonfire and tailgates thanks for watching demolition ranch i love you and i'll see you next time Contact. that's a great idea <laughs> what about the quad hog Bobby? <laughs> I'm a doctor. Ish.